two weeks since I got this car. Well, maybe three. Um, what it used. Traffic is bad here. Just got my plates today. That's pretty, pretty jazzed about that license plate. Um, it's a Cadillac ELR 2014. It is, um, you know, electric-ish, similar to the Volt. Uh, it's electric. Uh, and then you uh, have a gas engine. It's, you know, it's fancy. A little bit fancier than the Volt inside. It's quite the spectacle. Um, the only things I've done to it after buying is I changed the taillights. Um, not the taillights, but the there's the, the car has all LED exterior lighting except the reverse lights and the license plate so lights, both of which I changed today to LEDs, um, mainly because the reverse lights just weren't that bright and the LEDs I put in are much brighter. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of reviews of a Cadillac um, ELR. It's a really, I, I really like the car. Um, what, I, what I like about um, the car for me is this is replacing a, um, an older Jaguar XJ8. Um, which was a which was a, a really nice car. I, I had no problems with the car. Uh, I did get a hundred and ten thousand miles or so out of it. And that's off. Um, but you know, uh, it is getting up there in age, two thousand four. Uh, so this is just a newer car. It's not really low mileage. It's got sixty, almost sixty three thousand miles on it. Um, but, you know, interesting, what's nice about this is, is things like this, um, uh, the fuel economy, um, lifetime fuel economy, 58.1, um, but since I've purchased the car, um, I'll go to information, uh, I bought the car, let's see, yeah, trip A, I reset the trip meter after I pulled it off of the truck. Uh, when I first pulled it off of the truck, here um it was totally dead and out of gas and i had to put it in mountain boat just to get it to move so just the 10 mile drive i did on it killed the mileage but realistically since i got the car home and charged it up um 116 miles per gallon on the car uh, because mostly i'm driving an electric uh i drive on gas uh when i go uh, once a week or two once every once or twice a week i go up to everett which is about 30 miles 40 miles round trip and that on those days I'll drive between 50 and 80 miles and normal days I only drive about 25 uh, so you can see today uh, I only drove 17.2 um, and so yeah I never went off of uh, gas at all so I did fill the car up when I first got it I'm still not I'm just just below half uh, the range never quite looks right and I think that's because uh, again I was getting terrible miles in mountain mode that little tiny bit um, and I reset everything. So I think once I drive the car and gas a little bit longer, it'll be fine because realistically I'm getting about 35 to 40 miles per gallon on gas and the rest of the time, you know, no gas. It just goes up from there. That's why my 116. So, um, you know, everything works. I really like the colors of the interior. Um, I like the wood. I didn't know this, but the tan interior cars, <clears throat> like this one, uh, don't have the shiny wood. They have this kind of matte finish. And it's called open, um, open pour laurel, which is kind of cool. It's got some, it's got some uh, dents and whatnot in it where you can see where there's um, splits in the wood. I mean, it's real wood, uh, and this isn't carbon fiber in this in this color of the interior. It's a piano black. So you get this piano black, which is consistent around the whole car, um, which is different from the black interior cars. The black interior cars, this black piano black in my car would be a carbon fiber and that would be this really glossy like a rose wood uh, I really like this more muted color scheme um, obviously this isn't very muted but you get the idea um, it's a very pleasant place to be um, what else to say you know we know all the tricks with these Q enabled cars we've got uh, lots of little doodads and features it's very feature rich uh, it is um, very quiet, 
It does have the Bose uh, sound canceling system and that's a microphone by my head. There's one on that side and it, it cancels out noise. Um, so you don't hear anything. You hear there's traffic when we get out of the car, but you don't hear anything in here. Just a fan running. Um, so, you know, I'll go ahead and put the car away. It tells you at the end, it shows you where you're at here uh, as far as uh, your fuel economy today on this charge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the car away and, and plug it back in. Um, I'll, I'll report more later, but I'm very happy with the car. Um, this particular car I got out of Florida does have its problems. Uh, this leather here has come loose. I'm gonna have to pull this piece of trim out, this dash piece out and re-glue that. Um, there's some scratches and some burns in the paint, which I didn't like. Uh, but that's just the nature of a used car, so I'm not going to complain too much. I didn't pay that much for the car compared to this car was eighty thousand dollars when it was new, and I paid twenty two for it. Um, not too bad, I don't think. Um, overall, I, I I can't complain. I would uh, I would recommend uh, this thing to just about anyone if you're looking for a, a very nice two passenger or two person. This is this has a back seat, but that back seat's useless. Um, two-person coupe for getting around town. Uh, very nice car.